drive, drive. <laughs> so here we are, the old telegraph track. This is really exciting. Every four wheel drive person's dream to get up here, chuck this on your bucket list. Here we are in Cape York, and here I am with my 200 series. I bought this around six months ago. I've already done about 20,000 Ks on it. First thing I've done, I've actually put a, an Ironman uh, bull bar. One thing I love about this is one of the strongest ones in the marketplace. It is big, it's chunky, but that's what is actually needed for a 200. Now, I will actually chuck some, uh, some brush bars on here as well, the brush bars together with the metal, uh, the metal steps. But the only thing is this, I got Ocam, which are actually one of the cheapest ones, and I was a little bit disappointed with them. So I think I'm gonna eventually take them off and get some proper, uh, proper ones put on. Got a Wildland electric uh, tent, which is really super cool. I've got a remote for it, so I literally just press it and it pops all the way up. I've bought a King's Dominator Extreme uh, in here. I've actually now bought about four of these for the four four-wheel drives that I've got. And these ones here are always the best in my opinion, mainly for price and also for poundage, 12,000 pounds uh, for that. And I've actually had only one issue with one of them and I went straight to King's and they actually replaced it, no questions asked. So they've actually really, really good service, which is good. Something else I'm a little bit disappointed with is this Safari uh, snorkel. And one of the main disappointments is, as you can see, it's actually quite thick. What we already know is the 200 series is already fat enough. Don't want a 200 series any wider. That's for sure for those 200 series enthusiasts. Hey, hey, how you doing everyone? We finally made it. Coming all the way from Tassie. Running the 100 series, 285, 75, 16. And so far, I've been really, really happy with them. Um, we've got the TJM bull bar on it, on there. Back bumper as well. Um, the guys in Melbourne did a fantastic job. I'm here with George and Job, and Sam and Jake. So it's gonna be absolutely awesome. Looking forward to it. Go, okay, started the old Telegraph track. And um, we finally made it up here, 3.30, not too bad. We're just going in. And here we are. This is Palm Creek. I don't remember it to be that steep. about 6 30 in the morning this is our first camp and it's amazing that there's a heap of this kind of stuff around people's side steps stuff that have come off people's cars and that well hey this is day two of telegraph old telegraph track and now we're just cruising it's going really well it was a beautiful night last night uh, a really, really difficult spot was Palm Creek. Uh, we've actually been talking to some locals and they actually said it's the worst it's ever been Palm Creek. They're actually saying it's worse than in gunshot. There's, a, there's actually quite a, uh, not as many people as normal uh, on the track, which is really ideal. You don't really want back-to-back -back bumper. We heard just two, two, three weeks ago when the 24-7 uh, 4v4 boys came through that it was back to back 20 plus four wheel drives all in a all in a row on every single creek crossing which is pretty crazy but yeah looking forward to a good day today we should get through gunshot 
today uh, and then we might even reach Nolan's Creek today as well so super excited on another awesome day of 4x4 four four full drive mirror here and we're just a gunshot so we're just gonna go and have a quick look see what's going on here this is gunshot here the last one that. that we did last time was here i'll show you it doesn't look as bad as palm yeah. trees to be honest <laughs> and then coming up and around here a few other tracks over here that's the one that we did i, Woo. I wouldn't do that either man. let's just do gunshot yeah. yeah, gunshot looks way better than that. Whoa. That's it. Turn. Okay, straighten up. Then you will. Okay, keep going. Alright, you're down. Keep going. Turn a bit, turn a bit, right hand down. So here we are, Elliot Falls, and uh, just had a flat battery, fixed, just fixed it then, and now we're on our way to Nolan's. That's good. Thank you. 
what to do. All right, we're about to do the infamous Nolans. So here we go. Phew. Look at that thing. Look at the bubbles. So here we are just after 6 a.m. on day three of the old telegraph track. We've actually just boiled the billy and uh, just having our parachute coffee. So come over here, come and have a look what this is. This is the cooler stuff. So basically it's called parachute coffee. You actually just uh, put this little coffee tea bag in and then the hot water all drips through. So uh, nothing like a good cup of coffee. Yesterday we had the greatest Father's Day ever. We've just done through Nolan's Creek last night, just before the sun came down, uh, and it was an epic drive, absolutely yeah. unreal. So there were so many rivers and lakes that we actually had to get through just to get here. And then we we're a little bit nervous last night. We we're thinking, oh, I don't know if we should actually do Nolan's tonight, because if we get stuck, the sun comes down, then it might start raining, because it was a little bit wet as well. And so there's a lot of things that are against us, but we decided, nah, let's just do it. Uh, so Simon went through first. I wanted to make sure he could get bogged, so I couldn't. Have, didn't have to get bogged. Uh, yeah, what was the best bit about Father's Day, Simon? Oh, look, everything, everything. Gunshot was pretty full on yesterday. Gunshot was awesome. Nolan's was good too. Actually, the creek just before this, I reckon the creek just before this was harder than Nolan's. That, that was right up to here, right up to your waist. And, and that went for a, a good um, 20 meters. Um, and so that was that was a bit gnarly, but um, yeah, we got through. It was I think that was called Cypress Creek. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, that was a great one. And also you couldn't actually see the bottom either. Here at Nolan's, which is really nice creek because you can see the bottom. It's a beautiful spot. I think it's one of the best spots to actually do some camping. It's great. Uh, but I'm a little bit worried about this morning because uh, we're not sure if my uh, 200 series is going to start. It's going to be interesting. Uh, there, was, there was a lot of lights uh, and all that happening yesterday. Uh, we, we turned it off when we got here, tried to turn it back on again, wouldn't turn back on. And that was after the car had been running for a good seven, eight hours. It would literally been running. Uh, and then all of a sudden it would not start up again. So I'm a little bit worried if it's going to start up or not. It can either be the alternator or the starter motor. Uh, and if it's either, uh, that's, a, that's a bit of a job actually just getting out of here. But the good news is we're at the end of the old telegraph. Uh, a best case scenario is Simon might have yeah, to tow me out of here. 100 series. Uh, it's all right. The 100 that, series will do it. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, so we decided to take off the OCAM brush bars. Uh, one of them was actually wiggling around and was bumping the side so much that it bumped it all the way to the actual bare metal. Uh, I've actually just spoke to someone, they had ARV brush bars and they said they were no good up here either. So OCAM or uh, ARV, don't get them if you really want the highest quality. Uh, I've heard that Ironman brush bars are really good with the Ironman bumper. And so we're actually going to go all the way through to Iron, uh, Ironman brush bars. So there you go. If you're going to get brush bars, stay oh, away from OCAM. Um, uh, TJM apparently also really good. Wait, one thing you've noticed here on the Telegraph track, is uh, where, wherever spare parts are, wherever things broke, for, um, they hang them on trees. So now there's a bit of a short walk to the tip. And look at this. This is phenomenal. Palm trees. 
look at this. So that'd be amazing. So we've just got a little little walk now. Walking along this road track to the tip. The tip, very northernmost tip of Australia. Coming up. So here we are, we've conquered the old telegraph track, so we've just crossed the Jardine River and we came across here to Bamaga and it's a beautiful spot, it's a stunning day. It's only about another two to two and a half hours from Nolans Creek uh, if you want to come up all the way through to the tip of Australia. Highly recommended, talk to you guys soon. Here we are. Here we are. Well, here we are. Here we are. And here we are. Well, here we are. Well, here we are. Here we are. So here we are. Well, here we are. Here we are. So here we are. All right. Here we are. We made it. 